Ski Tips with Josh Foster. Sponsored by Big White Ski Resort in the sunny Thompson Okanagan Valley, Kelowna, BC. So there's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo that you can talk about in skiing, you know, and once you weigh into the physics of the whole thing too, wow, it can get super, super complicated. But I want to talk a little bit about a technical idea here today, but I'll try to explain it a little bit more simply. And it starts with this. So we call this area here, we call that the base of support, and then up in this area here around your hips, well, we call that the center of mass. Why we don't just call it your hips and your feet, I'll never know, but it's a little bit complicated. So here comes the simplification. Let's go. So, you know, if you watch most people skiing, they're very active with their upper body, but they're almost throwing that center of mass, their hips, inside the turn just like that, instead of being active with their feet or their base of support. We want to have it the other way around. Feet are active, upper body is stable. So by being active in your feet or your base of support, you can almost think of placing them all the way through the turn. All right, so here's a little bit of a view into the weirdness of Josh. See if you can picture this in your mind. What would you do if you were running down a riverbank and you were jumping from rock to rock to rock? And your intention is to get from one point to the next point, not just stop. I think you might do something like this. Check this out. So have a look at my three rocks right here. Now check this out. If my intention is that last rock, wouldn't I do something like this? I would jump from this rock to this rock to this rock. And when I do that, I'm not throwing my upper body to it, I'm placing my feet. And that's what we want to do in a ski turn. As a matter of fact, look at this right here. There's the fall line of one turn right into the fall line of the next turn. So think of connecting those rocks, fall line to fall line, outside foot to outside foot. Let's put it into some skiing here now. So to put my rock analogy into skiing, I think about outside foot in the fall line, outside foot in the fall line, outside foot, outside foot. It's just like jumping from rock to rock and I stay balanced there and I'm active with the feet and I'm stable with the upper body. And that's really the way that you want to try to do that. So here it is again, base of support, center of mass, keep this stable keep that active and you'll be in way better balance. So I hope that one works for you. From beautiful Big White Ski Resort, I'm Josh. We'll see you next time.